We invited 10 super creative people to intervene, to each pick a work of art in the exhibition and respond to it in his or her own way. John Edmark, an inventor and designer, wanted to work with a beautiful Alexander Calder in the collection called Big Red. It's one of our prize pieces and it was given to the museum by a very old San Jose family, Janet Gray Hayes and Kenneth Hayes' family. Janet Gray, of course, was a mayor of San Jose and the first female mayor of a major city in the United States. Uh, one of the interventions I found particularly uh, effective was is John Edmark's intervention with Alexander Calder's Big Red. I think he came up with an ingenious design. It's seamless, very elegant, it's lit from the back, and also it provides, for, for our audience who is very familiar with the piece, uh, it provides a totally different way of experiencing it. I'm John Edmark, an inventor, designer, and artist, and I chose Alexander Calder's Mobile Big Red for my intervention because I've just always greatly admired his work and, and the fact that the piece was intrinsically about movement was just irresistible to me. It was also that I've just always had such admiration for Calder as a kind of an inventor, um, in this case the inventor of the mobile. It was his creative brilliance that came up with this idea to bring something to the world that, that seems like it should have been here forever. As I was thinking about the piece, I had some concerns about whether it would be seen as blocking the Calder. Well, in some sense, my piece does come between Calder and the audience initially. It's very carefully placed in such a way that the first thing you see is the, the screen and the projected shadows, not the Calder piece itself. And so in that sense, it's an intervention because it's, it is between Calder and the, and the viewer initially. The piece consists of a rear screen projection and a bank of 16 spotlights. Uh, the Calder is then placed between those two and the lights are programmed to be changing in color and in lightness and darkness and sequencing in various ways such that they cast shadows of the Calder piece onto this rear screen projection material. And what I feel is that, is that my intervention was really actually amplifying and highlighting certain aspects of the Calder piece and drawing one's attention to that. Um, by having you initially come upon just the shadows, just the silhouettes that it drops, and then coming around to see the actual piece. Now it's your turn. Momentum, an experiment in the unexpected. <laughs>